Press. Today we're going to talk about a book written by Sammy C. Frog. It's entitled Frogville, Book One, The Pictureless Picture Book. This is a very interesting book because, as the title states, there are no pictures. What the author would like you to do is use your imagination to form the story in your own mind. I'd like to read the introduction to you that explains some of the story. It reads, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or maybe even good night, whatever time or place you may be reading. May I suggest you not read while standing on your head, or you might get dizzy. Standing may not be a good idea either since your legs would get tired. How about we sit? I like to sit. Maybe you could sit like me, at least for a little while. Where are my manners? I suppose I should have started with introducing myself. My name is Sammy. I'm a frog. I have almost always been a frog, except for the time when I was an egg, but that didn't last too long. Then there was that tadpole stage. That lasted a bit longer. I started to doubt if I would ever lose my tail. Did you ever have that problem? The one where you never thought your tail was going to fall off? Well, I did. Then I was a froglet. Cute little frog I was. I'm officially a frog now and hope to stay that way for a while. I don't think I'm in for any more surprises. So why does my storybook have no pictures? Well, that's easy. I want you to use your imagination as you read or have someone read to you. Your brain is amazing, but I'm sure you already knew that. As you read, your brain will form the story into pictures. For example, if I say frog, your brain would show you a frog. Pretty cool, huh? I would love to see what your awesome brain comes up with. You can get an adult to help send me the pictures. I will tell you at the end of the book how to do so. So now that I have introduced myself and explained why my books will not have pictures, it's time to get into the story. Wait, I almost forgot. Before we can enter Frogville, which is where I live, we have to sing a frog song. Everyone's frog song is different and unique to them. So let's hear it. Here is mine. I will sing it with you. <clears throat> ribbit, 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 ribbit. That was my interpretation of Miss Sammy C. Frog's frog song. I'm sure hers is much better. But I think it will be an exciting book to check out, and I look forward to hearing what you think. Until next time. <laughs>